morning YouTube and we're coming to you today on the blustery banks of the Humber estuary to introduce you to our new project and here she is in all her glory she's a 1986 Mercedes horse box there's a lot of work to go into this a lot of work I'm going to give you a quick show around of what we're going to need to do to get her back on the road her name is currently Myrtle that was named by the previous owners uh, we're undecided whether we're going to keep that name or change it I mean she might she might have a different character by the time we're done but let's have a look what's going to be involved in getting Myrtle back to her former glory so the outside is in a bit of a bad state of repair uh, we are going to be completely reskinning her uh, as you can see she's starting to give way and crack and I've been assured that noodles and super glue is not enough to get her going again um, it is there's a lot of work to do basically we're going to have to completely reskin her so the entire sides on both sides are going to have to be taken off at the minute it is plywood with fiberglass uh, I think that has got a technical name but plywood and fiberglass will do for me we're going to be reskinning it in aluminium which means all these windows are going to be coming out I am hoping that when we rip some of this out it is fixable but I've been assured it's not she does start on the button every time engine is absolutely a-ok -okay, sound as a pound so she's currently situated on my friend's farm uh, which as you saw is right on the bank of the Humber estuary and he's just arrived back with his three children they are farm children they're very inquisitive very hard working and very wild you're probably going to be introduced to them shortly because I think they're going to come and run over and ask lots of questions we'll start going inside hi So inside is the entrance hall with a small bathroom leading through to the kitchen, living area slash massive double bed above the cab. The kids have already started moving the toys in. They have assured me this is their play den until I get it done. Hi Holly! Hi. And then, if we work our way through to the back, going to open that door for me, Holly. You're literally famous now. We have stables for three horses, and we do have the partitions, but we've taken them out. And I'll give you a quick run through now of what I'm planning to do with it. So we'll make our way back to the main living area. As it stands, we're going to keep it pretty much this layout. The only thing we're going to change, and I say this could be subject to change because once we get it ripped out, we might have changed our minds. But our initial plan is to bring the bathroom out to the edge of this seat, which is going to give us a much bigger bathroom so we can actually have a freestanding shower. Um, we're going to be putting extra supports in the floor so we can actually have belted seats in the back, um, two facing two, so it'll be able to carry six people, including the passenger and the driver in the front. Uh, the bed above there is going to be staying the same. Uh, the plan is to have a huge hecky skylight in the roof leading onto a large roof terrace. Uh, so I've got a massive roof space up there and also a minimum of a kilowatt of solar on the roof. Uh, but other than that, that is the only design change. And of course, just renew everything brand new, full new kitchen uh, in there. Again, so with the bathroom out there, the bathroom will stay there, but just be this much bigger. And then coming back into, oh she's locked it, she's too keen, into here uh, the plan is to have one small double bed across there, uh, raised up as high as we can go, probably about to that height there, so we've got a good space above it, and then another small double bed coming off where that one finishes, which is going to go all the way to the back, making an L-shape uh, bed, two separate L-shaped bedroom areas that are going to be two small double beds so I'll be able to have the kids plus a friend each 
Uh, underneath this bed is going to be a seating area for the kids with a TV and a sofa and everything. And then underneath this bed is basically going to be a 6x4 shed because that's the size of the bed, which is going to be for housing the push bikes, general junk and tat. We're undecided whether we're going to keep these lockers. I'll show you what they are on the outside in a second, but they are really useful on the outside, but they're not so useful on the inside because of the space that they take up. So we might rejig them, modify them, and make them a bit smaller so they don't take up quite so much space in this area. Shall we take the back doors down, Holly? Yeah. Shall we have a look? Yeah. I actually didn't have the faintest idea how to take these back doors down, but luckily, I had a farm kid on hand. Do you want me to push and you un unlatch it? You got it? Yeah. That's that one off. Uh, want me to push it? Yeah. Yep. Are we ready? I bet you. Mm. Right, pull it down. Um. All right? Yep. Yeah? So again, can, we just, can, we, can you hold that in the air, Holly? Are you that strong? Have you got it? So we're going to put legs on there. So when that extends out, you are strong, aren't you? When that extends out, that's going to make a, a garden area as well as the roof terrace on the top. Go on then, Holly, you can let it go. It is spring-loaded. I'm not just uh, getting a small child to hold an extremely heavy door. It's great having farm kids on hand. So now you can see the vast space we've got in the back for the bedroom area. Uh, we're going to put a fixed wall in here with like a patio door coming out at this side onto the garden area as well. Go on! Got it. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Do that one. Do this one. Right? Ready? Got it. But you didn't show them the doors out the cabins out there. What door? Oh, I was supposed to show the people the doors outside, wasn't I? Oh, I think that was waiting. There was. So this is the locker space outside. Uh, there's some questionable electrics and a, a nice big space there. And. They're a bit stiff. I think you have to give that one a kick. There you go, look. A little, uh, tack, little tack area. A little tack area. Is that, is that, its, is that its technical name, is it? Yep, yeah, this is where the song tack would there. What's tack? Tack is where you put it on a horse so you can ride in there. Right. Uh, and it also doubles up as a bedroom for That's two small children. So this is going to be a mammoth task for me. I've never ever undertaken anything so big in all my life. Uh, to strip it back to basically a bare frame and chassis and start again is... Uh, I'm worried. I'm not going to lie, I'm worried. Um, but if you want to watch me sprouting more grey hairs than you've ever seen in your life, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel to follow the whole journey from start to finish. You may have to bear with me on this one because I can see it taking a while. But... That's us for today. Wait, You've had a nice look round. Uh, I hope so. I hope so, because I don't do it on my own. But if you'd like to see the whole build, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We love having you all here. We'll see you all again soon. Bye. Say like, share and subscribe. Like, like share and subscribe. <laughs>